Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to your Fast Track to 7 a.m. here on the Valley today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ashlyn Hill. And I'm Alex Larson. New for you this morning, fire crews in Moorhead responding to a fire at Menards early this morning. Crews called to the 3000 Avenue at 27th Avenue South in Moorhead just before 5 a.m. According to an employee, the fire may have began in the electrical section, but it was contained by the sprinkler system. You can see in this video the smoke filled building, but according to those on scene, there is no active fire. Fire. Our reporter who was there says fire crews were working to vent the building with fans to remove the smoke. It's unknown at this time what the official cause is or the extent of that damage inside Menards. We have reached out to officials for more information. A sentencing date has been set for a high risk sex offender in Jamestown, accused of holding a teen girl against her will for weeks and sexually assaulting her. Loring Rush is now charged in Stutzman County with eight counts, including corruption or solicitation of minors, promoting a sexual performance by minor, false imprisonment, and harboring a runaway. He has pleaded guilty to all but one charge. According to court records, while staying with Rush between May 23rd and June 9th, the victim said Rush would give her alcohol and drugs and rape her. Police say the girl was returned home after more than two weeks. Rush was arrested three days later. He's set to be sentenced on November 5th. Tracking Milton this morning, more than two dozen Florida counties are under a hurricane warning as Milton barrels toward the state's Gulf Coast. Millions of residents have been ordered to evacuate, many leaving behind streets lined with belongings destroyed by the last hurricane less than two weeks ago. Yeah, that trash can now become dangerous projectiles when Milton makes landfall as early as tonight. Turning our attention to our local forecast now, we're looking ahead to another warm day here in the valley. Yeah, for the details locally and nationally, we're sending things right on over to meteorologist Lisa Green. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I just want to give you an update that just came in on Milton. Here's some good news. It has decreased in intensity. It's back down to a category four hurricane now uh, with winds down to 155 miles per hour. That's only a five mile per hour drop, but it's nice to see it's coming down a little bit. Uh, gust to 195 miles per hour moving to the northeast at 16. We expected it to drop down to a, a category four storm at some point today. And again, that's moving toward that Tampa to Fort Myers coastline where we expect to see uh, that eye make its landfall later tonight and into early tomorrow. Already feeling the impacts from it this pink box that you see here on the peninsula. That's a tornado warning. So those outer bands from this storm already making their way onto uh, the, the coastline of Florida and even inland in uh, some of these locations. So the impacts will only worsen as the day goes on and we'll continue to be tracking this for you throughout the day today. Let's take a look at the valley. It is a lot quieter. We've actually got a really pleasant day ahead of us here in uh, the Dakotas and Minnesota. You can see radar and satellite showing nothing in the valley. It's clear. We've got a really pretty sunrise starting up for us here this morning. Fargo's at 52 degrees, wind out of the south southeast at 11, Moorhead at 46. It's a little warmer than yesterday's chilly numbers that we experienced, especially in the east. And in Grand Forks, similar range of temperatures, 49 degrees, wind is out of the south at about nine miles per hour. That wind does pick up today, so it does get more breezy, but it's a south wind that's going to be partially responsible for helping to warm us up, along with little October sunshine too. Temperatures getting into the 70s this afternoon, so not bad at all out at the bus stop and taking a look at your forecast again beyond today the high of 79 today 85 on Thursday enjoy it while it lasts <laughs> because we've got a 20 degree drop on Friday and even some rain coming up on Saturday you know we need the rain I'm okay with the cool down mm -hmm. I'm just gonna enjoy the next couple of days I think exactly you know we know that uh, cooler weather is going to come eventually and it's yeah. not a huge I mean it's a big drop from potential record highs tomorrow yeah but it's still gonna be typical what we expect in October yeah nice you got it thank you Lisa well, it may only be October 9th, but what the heck? We can celebrate <laughs> Halloween a little bit early. <laughs> yeah, this Saturday you can bring your little ghouls and goblins trick-or-treating amongst the animals for Boo at the Zoo. And that's where we find the Valley Today's Tatum Miller this morning live at the Red River Zoo, giving us a sneak peek of all the spooktacular events. Good morning, Tatum. <laughs> 
Good morning, ladies. That's right. We're here at the zoo right now. We've got some creepy crawly friends we're about to introduce you to. But I'm also here with Sally Mulvena, our president and CEO of the zoo. Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful day. <laughs> yes, it is. Now, I know we have our first booth at the zoo this Saturday. Yes. But before we get into that, I need to touch on what's <laughs> in your hand right now. So are you giving me a trick or a treat? <laughs> uh, that really depends on how you respond. <laughs> so what I thought I'd do today is just kind of showcase some of our education animals. And so in our little trick-or-treat bucket, we should see what we've got here. This is <gasps> one of the animals that our education department will be taking out this weekend <laughs> to give the kids an up-close view of some of those animals, but also to talk about them um, and their important roles, all the various education animals, the important roles that they play in the environment. Everybody from snakes and uh, lizards and, and spiders to these little, not a, I should say little, but they're actually one of the world's largest they're cockroach huge. species. This is the Madagascar hissing cockroach. <gasps> a hissing cockroach. Okay, I can't think of anything yeah. more spooky, but Ashlyn, Alex, I'm about to touch this thing. So mm -hmm. this needs to be documented. Oh, look at that. He didn't even hiss. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he was talking of this morning. We heard him hissing. Yes, yes. <laughs> they actually have four different hisses, if that makes sense, oh. which is really weird. I didn't even, wouldn't have even thought that, you know. But after learning more about them, uh, they have four different ones. They have a courtship hiss. They have kind of a threatened hiss. Oh. The males have a <laughs> combat hiss. We want to stay away from those ones. <laughs> yes. And exactly. So here at the zoo, we do a lot of work yeah. um, with our animals through operant conditioning. And it's a very slow and gentle process to make sure that all of the education animals that might be going out to schools, nursing homes, and be around the public yeah. are... are um, not afraid and very comfortable. So they'll be out this weekend here at Food the Zoo in addition to all the other fun, spectacular stuff. Absolutely. So we've got education, we've got fun. You're going to want to head out here this Saturday. But if not, we have two other dates that Ashlyn and Alex will tell you about. For now, we're going to put him away. <laughs> I'm Dana Miller for Valley News Live. Back to you at the studio. <laughs> yeah, you are a brave girl, Tatum. Oh, my God, no. No, 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 no. A little too creepy crawly for my taste. But, hey, great work this morning, Tatum. Thank you for that live look. And, again, if you can't make it out this weekend, Boo at the Zoo has two other dates, October 19th and the 26th. Wow, that was a lot of fun, actually. Ooh, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to do that one. Got the blood pumping this morning. Thank you all so much for joining us on the Valley today. We'll see you tomorrow morning. See ya.